The votes are in. You have spoken. And the next playthrough of Iron Helm is going to be with Grimly. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Night YouTube channel. In today's video, guys, we're doing a playthrough of Iron Helm by Jason Glover with your choice from the poll, Grimly, right here. This dude is going to be interesting for sure. So stick around and let's see if we can make it to the end of this dungeon. So, dudes, I've got everything set up. Everything is shuffled and ready to go, and we'll do a quick little rundown of Grimly before we head into the dungeon. So he's starting with 14 health, 10 energy, he can hold 9 weight. He starts with 2 rations, which is amazing. Most characters start with 1, so he's packing a bunch of food. He also starts with 4 gold, which we are going to spend right off the bat. And dudes, I'm going to buy the trapping, the Iron Helm. What better trapping to buy? So this is going to subtract 1 from both initial damage and counter strikes. He also starts with the Pilgrim Staff which is going to give plus two to the sum of your attack rolls versus undead enemies. And we always have to re-roll results of six. We'll see how that pans out. He also goes into the dungeon with his trusty flask filled with water, which we can drink to gain two health. And it can only be used once, but we can refill this flask at a campsite. Cool stuff. And his ability that he starts the game with, or his skill rather, is dash, which says, once per dungeon level, you may spend energy to avoid any dungeon card. Roll to see how much energy you spent. If we roll a 1 or a 2, half your energy is spent. Brutal. If we roll a 3 or 4, only 1 energy. And if we roll a 5 or 6, no energy. We just get to skip the card for free. And that, of course, is an agility skill. And I believe that is it, guys. We're at level 1 of the dungeon, sitting on 0 morality. Let's head into level 1 of the dungeon with Grimly. Into a skirmish. Wouldn't you know it, dude? Into a skirmish. It wouldn't be a game night video if we weren't heading straight into a skirmish. I think I'm going to push my luck and skip past the skirmish into treasure. This chest must have been stocked with goods recently. Draw one loot card and one potion card. Let's see what the loot is. It's the greedy Zwayhander. I feel like I get this loot quite often. So it says, you may add an additional die to your attack roll at the cost of one gold. Now, do we want to do we want to drop the pilgrim staff for the greedy's wayhander? Probably so because we don't have to reroll sixes like we do with this. We do get the plus two damage to undead, which is pretty cool. But having to reroll sixes kind of sucks. So I think I'm going to go ahead and hang on to the pilgrim staff on my belt there, and we're going to go ahead and equip the greedy's wayhander. So let's see what we're at right now. We got two, five, six, seven, eight. So we can hold one more weight. Okay, cool. And then we also gain. A potion card from the chest. Let's see what we got. An ice shard. Okay, cool. So now we're at max encumbrance right here. Let's head deeper into the dungeon. What do we got here? Ooh, the merchant. Okay, so we find the merchant right off the bat. So we're on level one, so we're gonna get one loot and one potion. Let's see what the loot is that he's got for us. Ooh, Grub Rot's Fang. Whenever your combat roll results in at least one matching pair, add five to your sum. Dude, that's pretty cool. Dang, that's pretty cool. And then he's got one potion also, which is the antidote potion. That's also really useful. Grubrot's Fang costs six gold. We are not balling like that, dude. We spent all of our money on the Iron Helm before we even entered the dungeon. So unfortunately, we can't afford the Grubrot's Fang, even if we sold everything. I do want the antidote, though. So you know what? I'm thinking about selling the Pilgrim Staff. <laughs> I think I'm just going to sell... His staff, you know, he's, I mean, he has had it like his whole life and everything. You know, he's even holding it in the picture, but he'll be all right, right? Yeah, we can just, we can get rid of that. We'll put that up that way. <laughs> we'll go ahead, get one gold from the merchant for that. And then we'll spend that gold to get the antidote. Hopefully I don't regret that. <laughs> Hopefully I don't regret getting rid of his walking staff there. Okay, so he can go ahead and keep Grub Rot's Fang as much as I would like to have that. And we'll move deeper in, into a skirmish. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Let's skip it. Ooh, into an ambush. Now, we do have our dash ability here. Once per dungeon level, you may spend energy to avoid any dungeon card. I think we're going to do it. So we need to roll to see how much energy we have to spend. We rolled a four, so we spend one energy. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I can handle that. So we're going to go ahead and just run. <laughs> we're just going to run, dude. We're going to dash right past the enemies. In the room, Grimly is like getting the heck out of here, dude. He's he's speedy, man. He's got his he's got his Nikes on. He's ready to go. All right, the altar. So we can stop and pray at the altar for a blessing or to heal poison. Since we don't have any poison, obviously we're gonna gain that blessing token right there. Good stuff. That's for when we, when we make it to the boss, of course. 
The Labyrinth. Ooh. We'd have to discard a ration because we're going to get lost in the Labyrinth for a little bit. And that, you know, you get kind of hungry in there. So I think we're going to go ahead and do it. I'm not going to push my luck. Fortunately for us, Grimly starts with two rations, which is amazing. So we can, we can afford to spare one. Let's go deeper in. Ooh, to the campsite. So you have spied a relatively quiet location to set up camp. It will not be long before you attract attention to yourself. Choose one of the following actions. Okay, so they're going to start seeing the smoke. You know, they might... They might smell the smoke coming down, drifting down through the cavern into the dungeon here, so we're going to have to be quick. Do we want to cook, search, or rest? Well, there's really no reason to do anything other than search. We are missing one energy, but that's not that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and search, and we'll gain our ration. And had we drank our flask, we would have been able to fill up here, but we're good because we're on full health. So we're going to keep moving deeper into the dungeon, into a skirmish. Do I want to skip it? Now, Dash says you can do it once per dungeon level. So chances are this is probably an ambush or a skirmish because we haven't seen many of those. So I think, unfortunately, I'm going to go ahead and do the skirmish because this is probably going to be much worse if we go that way. So it does say you draw your weapon and are ready for battle. Draw an enemy card and add the dungeon level plus two to their health. So one plus two is three to the health of, oh, man. A consuming mass. That is not what I want to see when I open up the door to this room. So he goes from 7 health up to 10 health. He does 3 extra damage whenever he attacks. He is weak to ice. And he says your hand weapon is lost if you roll more than 2 ones during an attack. So we just got to not do that. So he's going to get the jump on us, unfortunately. He does get to attack first. We're mitigating 1 damage from initial and counter strikes with our iron helm. That thing is incredible. Let's go ahead and see how much he does. So he does 5 minus 3 is 2, minus the 1 from the Iron Helm is 1 damage. We can take it, dude. We can handle it. Grimly is not even shaken by that, dude. He is all good. So this thing is 10 health right here. We don't have any gold, so we can't roll any extra dice with our Greedy Zwayhander. We could throw the Ice Shard Potion at it since he's weak to ice. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and toss the Ice Shard Potion at him. We get to roll 2 dice and then add plus 5 to it since he's weak to ice. And we do 5 plus 5 is 10, and that is exactly how much HP he has, and he is dead. Let's go, dude. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of the Ice Shard Potion over here. We have destroyed the Consuming Mass. He's got a Treasure Class of 2, so we get a Loot and a Potion. The Loot is... Bam! Scale Armor, dude! What? Let's go, dudes! Subtract 2 from Initial Damage and Counter Strikes. Cannot use the Conceal or Shadow skill. Oh my goodness! Okay, so wait, dudes, we can hold up to nine. So we're at three, five, six, seven, and this way is three. So I'm gonna have to drop something. Oh man, dude, am I gonna have to drop the antidote? Oh, that kind of sucks. I don't want to drop the flask. The flask seems pretty cool, man. And I've never played with it before. I know we dropped his pilgrim staff. It would feel bad to drop his flask too. Dang, but dude, the antidote could really save us. Oh man. What do we do, dudes? What do we do, man? This will gain us health. I mean, this is pretty cool, man. This is like a potion that we can use over and over and over again. And we can always find more antidotes. We can't find more flasks. So we're going to drop the antidote. That's probably the best way to look at that. We're going to drop the antidote. We're going to pick up the freaking scale armor. I really kind of want to find a weapon that doesn't weigh like a metric ton. <laughs> because this thing is like really weighing us down. So yeah, so we've got three, six, eight, nine weight on us now. So we are good. Dude, we are armored up right now. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then we also do get a potion, but I'm not going to be able to hold it, unfortunately. And it's a health potion that I have to just discard. That feels awful. Oh my God. Yeah, that feels kind of bad, but oh well. Let me know down in the comments. What would you, you guys have done? Would you have discarded the flask? And hang on to the potion? Let me know down in the comments. I am interested to see what you guys would have done right there. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of the consuming mass over here. And we only have one room left to go in on level one. Into the mushroom grove. You have located a grove of young mushrooms. We're going to go ahead and pick some of those. And we're going to gain one ration. Dude, we are stocked up on food right now. We are sitting pretty on food. And guys, that's the end of level one, dude. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle up the dungeon deck. Grimly is off to a fantastic start. Shout out to you dudes for voting for this guy in the YouTube poll, man. This dude is super fun so far. I really like his dash ability. And uh, he is stacked with armor right now, dudes. He is decked out in armor. Okay, cool. Got that shuffled up. We are going to eat one ration in between levels because, you know, 
adventuring gets gets uh makes you hungry. So we're gonna go ahead and gain one energy also. We're gonna move into level two of the dungeon, and we're gonna draw our first plot card, dudes. The Traveler. A cloaked figure approaches you. You place your hand on your weapon, fearing a conflict. However, the old man reveals himself as a cleric and makes a gesture of peace. He places his hand on your shoulder and whispers to himself. So I'm assuming he's praying for us or something. Gain either health or energy equal to your position on the morality track. We're on zero. We don't gain nothing, but we do have two eyes toward finding the boss right there. Heading into level two of the dungeon, dudes. Into the labyrinth. And you know what? We're going to wander through the labyrinth, but we eventually do find our way out, and so we're going to have to eat some food. I don't want to push my luck into a skirmish or an ambush in the other room, so we're going to move past that into a skirmish. We're going to skip it. We're going to skip it. I really wish I had robes. The scale armor is amazing, though, too. Into, ooh, an arrow trap. Gain two poison. See, dude, this is why I wish I would have had the antidote. Do I dash? Dude, do I dash? Oh, man. No, I'm not going to dash. I'm not going to dash. We could we could potentially get rid of this two poison right here. This does suck, though, man. Dang. It says your greed has you walking blindly into a storm of arrows. Gain two poison tokens. Yikes. Okay. Moving on. That was brutal. Uh, into a skirmish? No. No, thank you. I do not want to do skir- Into- Ooh. Into another skirmish. That's not good. We're going to dash, dudes. We are running. Grimly is booking it down the halls, dude. So, let's go ahead and roll a die. Ooh. What are we going to get here, bro? Three. Okay, so we got to get rid of one energy. We're getting pretty lucky so far with his dash ability. That is insane, dude. We're just running away from everything. <laughs> Grimly just runs away from his problems. He doesn't face his problems. He just turns around and runs. The mushroom grove. We found a a grove of ripe mu or of young mushrooms, rather. So we're going to gain one ration. Let's go ahead and do it. I like how we're eating our food, but then we're getting it back pretty quick, too. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead and go deeper. Dude, the campsite. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drink my water from my flask to gain two health and heal all the way up. And then, since we're at the campsite, it says may only be used once, but then it says can be refilled at the campsite. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to refill it. You know what? I should probably have some kind of little token. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this little skull right here. So that way we know if it's uh, if we've used it. I guess I could tap it too, but you know what? I already got the skull, so we're going with the skull. Um, okay, so we can either cook, search, or rest. I think I'm going to search again, dudes. No, 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 no. I want to get rid of this poison. So if we rest, we're going to spend one ration to gain two health and lose one poison. So I didn't even need to drink the flask, but we're going to do that. So we're going to go ahead and spend one ration. We're going to gain the two health, but we're already at full health, and we're going to lose one poison. There we go. Okay, we're not feeling quite as sick. Still a little nauseous, but, you know, it's much better than what it was. Deeper in to a clearing, anything can happen in a clearing. Draw a plot card. It is the shrine. In the clearing, you find a towering shrine covered in vegetation. You are overwhelmed by a sense of power, just as a gentle breeze rushes past you. Gain blessing tokens equal to your position on the morality tracker. Zero. We don't gain any, but we get three eye icons toward finding the boss. So we're already halfway there, dude, with five. Let's go. We're speed running this dungeon, dudes, into the altar, baby. So we can pray for either a blessing or healing to get rid of that poison. And as much as I do want to pray for a blessing, you know what? I think I'm going to do what I usually never do. I'm going to pray for healing. And we're going to try to get rid of this poison. We get D6 minus D6. Just don't roll doubles and we're all good. There we go. We get rid of three poison. We'll get rid of that one right there. And we're, we're good, dudes. We're all good. I'm glad that I decided not to dash past the arrow trap earlier. Because I figured we'd be able to get rid of that poison. And we did. Into a skirmish. Yikes. I also have to keep in mind, I've already dashed. Let's go ahead and tap the dash. Do I want to skip it? Dudes, it's getting real. I think I'm going to do it, man. We're decked out in armor. We're good. We can take it. So we draw our weapon, and we are ready for battle. Draw an enemy card and add the dungeon level plus two to their health. So two plus two is four to the health of a little skinkling. I can handle that, dude. I can handle a skinkling. So he's got five health, and he does zero damage. He's weak to fire. He does drop a coin and one loot whenever we destroy him. And it says, when the skinkling successfully hits, gain one poison token. Well, I don't like that at all, dude. Okay, he does get to attack first. That kind of sucks. We might get poison right here. We're mitigating three damage. Pretty good. Pretty good. And he does one, but we mitigate three. We don't take any damage. We don't take any poison. Nothing. I'm going to spend two, dudes. I'm going to spend two energy right there. And we need five damage on this little dude right here. Bloop. We did 10 damage. <laughs> Plenty enough 
to annihilate this little skinkling dude. So he is Dunzo the Clown. I am knocking my tokens all over the place over here. This dude is dead, so we're gonna gain the one loot, which is... Ooh, an ice hack, bro! Yes, you may discard this card to deal 3d6 damage while spending zero energy, so we can throw it since it's an axe, and it says plus three to the sum of your attack rolls versus enemies weak to frost, and it only weighs two. So I'm gonna drop this big heavy freaking thing right here, <laughs> and I'm gonna pick up the ice hack. So now we have two, five, seven, eight, and we can hold one more thing. So now I can actually hang on to a potion, which is awesome. And we also get a gold from the skinkling. He drops one gold. Heck yes, dude. Let's go. We've got two enemies in the graveyard, and we are moving on to level three of the dungeon. That was level two done, dudes. Let's go. We're doing pretty well, man. We're sitting on full health. We have most of our energy. We got a blessing. We got to pray at the altar and get a blessing. We got one coin in our pocket. We got a little bit of food, which we're about to eat, unfortunately. And we are decked out in armor, dude. And we got an amazing weapon. Let's go. Cool. Set that right there. We're going to eat our ration in between levels. We're going to gain an energy. We have no poison. And we move to level three and we draw a plot card and it is the passageway. You notice a strange rock protruding from the wall. You run your hand across it and suddenly the ground begins to shake. You stumble to the ground as dust fills the air. When you arise, you notice a secret passageway where there once was wall. Draw another plot card and we get one eye toward finding the boss. So we're at six. Draw another plot card. In dire need. Loud squealing echoes off the cavern walls in the clearing. You see a small pig-like man being cornered by a large gray serpent. Oh, I know this one, dudes. I already know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to read it anyway. You dash so we can either defend the pig man or keep moving on. If we defend the pig man, it says lose three health and gain one poison token. But then we move up two on the morality track. That kind of sucks. If we keep moving, we're going to move down one on the morality track. So guess what we're going to do? <laughs> You decide to leave the swine to defend itself. As you creep away into the next passage, you hear a loud scream, followed by silence. Move down one on the morality track. Poor pig man. He'll be all right. He'll be okay. Two, three, six, eight. We just need two more, dudes. We need two more, and we are there, heading into level three of the dungeon in Iron Helm. Into a clearing. Let's go, dude. Anything can happen in a clearing. Just don't be one eye icon. Let's speed run this thing right here, dudes. Let's go. The old woman. You hear a moaning sound from the shadows and discover a lost old woman. She is frail and mutters on about losing something in the darkness. We can help her escape the dungeon, or we can leave her and search instead. If we help her escape, we're going to lose one ration, which we don't have, and one energy. So I can't do that. So we're going to leave her and search instead. Dude, Grimly, <laughs> Grimly makes some uh, questionable decisions, okay? He's got some life decisions that are a little... A little sketchy. You ignore the old hag and instead look for what she may have lost. <laughs> Move down one on the morality track, okay? And gain one random treasure card. All right, that's cool. Okay, that does put us at 10 eye icons, by the way. So we're fighting the boss here, but we do get a treasure. It's a dagger. I mean, it weighs one. It does say you may reroll die results of six, or you must. When a dagger is used as a primary weapon, it's not the greatest weapon. We'll go ahead and hang on to it just in case we need to like throw our axe. At least we'll have something. You know what I mean? So, and that does put us at nine. So we're maxed out on weight right there. Dude, that was it, man. That was a fast level three of the dungeon. And dude, it's time to fight the boss. And you know what? I didn't even take the boss cards out. So boom, we're going to go into the box here. And I got to find the boss cards in here. And we're about to fight. We're about to fight somebody. We're going to go through and see how many enemies of each type we have, and that's going to determine the boss that we fight. Let's see what we got here. We've got a skinkling, and we have the consuming mass. So we've got a fire and an ice. I'm pretty sure fire beats undead, undead beats ice, and ice beats fire. So we're fighting the ice boss. So the ice boss is, bam, the lurker. Let's go, dudes. I don't know if I fought the lurker on the channel before. I might have. Let me know in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the lurker has 22 health. So we're going to put 11, and we're going to put 11, 22. He does five freaking damage. Oh my god, dude, that's insane. <laughs> Holy crap, he does five damage. Good thing we got all this armor, though, dude. Let's go. Um, it says, attacks from the lurker ignore defensive bonuses gained from shields or bucklers. We don't got a shield or a buckler. We ain't even worried about that, dude. Let's go. Okay, so this dude is going to attack first. Um, we're mitigating three damage from initial damage and counter strikes. Dude, the Iron Helm with the scale armor is insane. 
Absolutely insane. All right, he's doing plus five. So now he's doing plus two since we're mitigating three. So he could still whop on us. Let's see what he does here. Okay, so he does three damage plus the two is five damage. All right. So one, two, three, four, five damage right there. Cool, we're sitting on nine health. We're still sitting pretty. We're doing all right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drink the flask. You know, we don't need, we don't need that. We're gonna tap this. I'm gonna drink the water from the flask that we got that last campsite. I'm gonna gain two health back. I'm also gonna get this back. Um, okay, he is weak to ice. Dude, we got the ice hack. We're about to annihilate this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna spend three, a one, two, and a three, and we're gonna roll three dice. And since he's weak to frost and we got the ice hack, we're doing plus three to the sum of our attack rolls versus enemies weak to frost. Let's go, dudes. Plus three to our roll. Let's one shot this guy and get the heck out of here. So we got 12, 14, plus three is 17. Wow, and he's got 22, so he's sitting on five health. Okay, let's go ahead and put him down to five. That was a massive attack. Holy crap, that was a really, really strong hit. Okay, he's gonna retaliate. Dudes, I forget it every time, guys. I was supposed to get one energy back from my blessing from earlier. I swear, I'm so terrible about that. Blast me in the comments below, you know what I'm saying? I need to remember that. <laughs> I need to start remembering that, I swear. All right, so the Lurker is going to retaliate. He's gonna roll two dice, uh, same as last time. He's doing plus two damage since we got all that crazy armor. And he misses. He rolls doubles and completely whiffs. I am going to go ahead and spend two. We're just going to spend two and guarantee that we take this dude out. And we're doing plus three with the ice hack. See what we get. We get seven plus the two is nine damage. And this dude is a goner. We have destroyed the lurker, guys. We get two items. We get a loot and a potion. The loot is... Of the lamp. Once per dungeon level, you may reveal both dungeon cards and choose one. That sounds cooler to me than the dagger. I'm going to go ahead and drop the dagger, scoop up the lamp, and we're also going to get a potion, which is a holy water potion, but I don't think we can hold any more items. No, we can't, unfortunately. Let's see, two, four, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, no, we can't hold it. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it, unfortunately. Okay, that's all good, though. We got the ice hack, we got crazy armor, we got a flask and a lamp. Dude, we're good. We are good, dudes. Hey, guys. There it is, dudes. Grimly is successful, dudes. He has ventured into the first dungeon and destroyed the Lurker boss at the end, handedly, might I add. Like, that was amazing. That Dude, Grimly's awesome, guys. And the Iron Helm and the Scale Armor combo, that, that you know, that goes a long way, too. Dudes, thank you so much for voting for Grimly. We're going to go into another adventure, a level 2 adventure, in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Hit the red subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video and upload videos just like this all the time. So be on the lookout for that. And speaking of that, a, another video should be popping up on the end screen right about now. Feel free to click on that and continue your viewing pleasure. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.